gay who is a Senegalese French football player or soccer player. Depends where you live. But all he does is he sits out a game because he doesn't want to wear an LGBTQ pride flag on his uniform, feeling like it undermines his faith. And subhanAllah, because of that suddenly, he's lynched in French media, all sorts of racist rhetoric is hurled against him. There are calls for discipline. All he did was take a dignified stance. The man said, I have deen. This is my deen. Yet he's the problem. He's the one being uh, you know, lynched in the media in this way. He's the one that's being called upon to be censured and mistreated this way. Why? Well, we see time and time again that liberalism becomes awfully illiberal when people refuse to abide by ever-changing, sanctified, secular norms. The minute you choose to step out of line, you're the one with the problem. And we should be able to say as Muslims over and over and over again, whether it is popular in the justice arena or not, that we have the right to not celebrate or support anything in any fashion that is opposed to our deen. In any way, theologically, socially, morally, or politically, that's our right because we believe in the Quran and the Sunnah. We believe in our deen and we hold to our deen. We could still follow the way of life prescribed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and practice most perfectly by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And at the same time, serve our neighbors, produce harmony and benefit in society, demonstrate beautiful prophetic character, all while holding on to our commitments. We don't have the problem. If someone has a problem with us living that way, that's not our problem to solve. We have to maintain our faith holistically and be willing to endure what comes with that. And subhanAllah, this is something that the Prophet ﷺ teaches us in dua. When he teaches us sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, وَلَا تَجْعَلْ مُصِيبَتَنَا فِي دِينِنَا وَلَا تَجْعَلْ الدُّنْيَا أَكْبَرَ هَمِّنَا وَلَا مَبْلَغَ عِلْمِنَا وَلَا تُصَلِّتْ عَلَيْنَا مَنْ لَا يَرْحَمُنَا It's a part of a dua. Very powerful. The Prophet ﷺ says, don't make the greatest calamity in our, in, in our lives be in regards to our religion. Let it not strike us in our faith. Let not this worldly life be our greatest concern. And do not let those who have no mercy rule over us.